Leader, the Senate Leader, taken to the Supreme Court. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a good thing to be sued by them in our Supreme Court because we're one of the couple legislatures the Supreme Court's picked by the legislature. <laughs> so the plaintiffs were, you get it, but whatever. I had the Constitution on my side. And they ruled against me and said, well, no governor's done it before. Well, that's not kind of, I said, I'll sign them all individually, line them up. They didn't like that. As you know, they sued me for contempt of court. I actually won, and now we have 200,000 people. It wasn't about me. It was about all these people. In 40 states in America, it's automatic. There's no governor involved. It's automatic. I was reversing a wrong that occurred in 1902 when Senator Glass stood in our Capitol and said, I am putting this in against felons to eliminate the darky from being a political factor in Virginia. Mm -hmm. That was his quote, 1902. Mm -hmm. New sheriff in town uh, in 2014 when I did my deal. Mm -hmm. And it was the right thing to do. A couple of folks, Republican Commonwealth attorneys and others came out and also filed a suit to stop me. And I hear there was a Democrat or two Commonwealth attorney, and we have actually uh, the candidate who was actually running against one of those Commonwealth attorneys who tried to stop me from doing this. He had to wear should Give her a great round of applause. And Woo! <laughs> Why did you ever sue a Democrat governor for trying to restore rights? I don't know, but you can figure that out. But good luck in your race. And I don't think I can do it to possibly help. Because folks, I'll tell you, there's not a day goes by that I don't have somebody come up to me, governor. Thank you. Mother, daughter, brothers, somebody, you restored their rights. And you know what? You made them a full citizen of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And they all have tears in their eyes. Folks, that's why you're here tonight. That's why we're all in politics, to do the right thing for folks. So thank you for coming out here and supporting Mark. Let's bring it home.